So this little fly, um, it does really well as an nymph in small still waters. I call it the gilded hare's ear. Um, gilded because there's a lot of gold in there. Um, because I'm fishing it up near the surface. So let's go ahead and tie it. I start off with a, a size 12 um, wet fly hook. This is a fully mill comp special. And I start with a light Cahill thread. I'm just starting behind the eye and work down. What I'm doing is I'm working down to a point. I'm giving myself a nice body there, but I work down to a point opposite the actual hook point. The scissors. Now, this is important. You get two gold yellowy gold, flat gold. This flat gold, it's no dull, but you can see what I mean, it's not that same yellow colour. This stuff is far, far better for fishing at the top of the water. So, I'm just going to take a short length of this, maybe 4 or 5 inches. And then, I secure it, one of my thread wraps, wind up. Now if you can, if you want at this stage, add a little bit of varnish. Because I'm doing really tight wraps, I don't feel we need it. So from the point of the hook, work down and overlap in turns to the barb. Yeah. And then back up again. Overlap in turns. And then just lock that in place with your tying thread. Keep the holographic, flat holographic, so we're going to use that again. And then I come in now with some small gold wire. You see a small section of that. And what I tend to do is tie it in on the opposite side of the hook from my body, so towards the camera there. Coming down to where the gold is. Just gonna park this out of the way. There. Keep that there. So then I've got this stuff. I seem to be using it more and more. I'm um, stickled up from vineyards, and it's like I don't know what it is. I'm guessing by the feel of it, it's a cross between rabbit and squirrel. I might be wrong. But as a natural material, it's really good to work with. I'm not having to put any wax on my thread. Um, it just adheres really well. So you can see there I've got a nice thin dubbing rope, really tight. Really tight. And then just wind up and touch in terms to where you would say the thorax would be. So I'm going to say there. Take this dubbing off. Don't need him now. Use him again in a second. Cut the wraps. Pull everything back. As you can see, I've just got a little hairs of your body there, yeah? So now I'm coming back in with my holographic that I kind of find. Here it is. And I'm going to create cheeks. So Turn it in at my side. Trim. Tie it in at the other side. Pull the fibers back. As I say, for top of the water stuff, there's no many flies beat this one. Um, this has been so effective for me. Fish it in as a, a team of three on a washing line rig. You fish it in the drop as well, but I just feel that it fishes better up near the surface layers. We've got to take a little bit more stickle dub because I want a more pronounced thorax area. And then just come in. 
as you can see there, it's a lot thicker, fatter. And because you're using an 8 with there, you can come right through the, the dubbing, pull everything back at the head, just a couple of wraps. And what I do, and a lot of flies actually, is I just stick in a, a little whip finish there just to hide everything. So, we're now going to pull these um, cheeks, if you like, forward, catch them in at the eye. And then I pull them back. And what I like to do is, rather than scissors, I'm going to use a craft knife. I take the two lengths. A sharp craft knife does the job in them really, really well. Just snip that off. I missed a bit there. Hmm. Missed a bit there, didn't I? So I've got my half hitch in place, then I come up with my gold wire through same way as a thread because all it's there for is to hold everything together. So two before the thorax, one, two through the thorax. You can still see these gold cheeks, but it just keeps everything nice and tight. Twizzle that off. Three times for a whip finish. And then just snip that there. I now come in with this stuff. This is another trigger like the gold. This is a fluorescent hot orange this should just tug away hopefully nope I'm in scissors and then just create a a nice neat head start from the eye and working back a pronounced head on this thing. And now what I like to do is, because I've got so much wire in there, I can start hacking away and pulling some of the stickled dub out to give you that buggy appearance. Also, by pulling some of the fibres out, it's all, it'll sink an awful lot slower. So now we just come in a little bit of varnish around the head area now if you feel that you've got any varnish in the eye there which I think I maybe have I just come in with a little bit of wire let's pull that through so here you go gilded hairs here a great fly in the middle dropper or even the top dropper when you're fishing a washing line but the whole point of it with the gold and the orange there is it's for fishing high up in the water. That's where it should be fished. An easy enough fly to tie and one that's sure to bring you success. Um, small still waters or large reservoirs. Try it folks. I don't think it will disappoint.